Okay, so as you can see here, I've piggybacked a second new memory chip on top of that suspected faulty one. So I'm going to power things up here. Hopefully it starts up okay. Um, I do notice a different... The noise has a different signature now. And if I tap on this guy... So, I guess that experiment shows us something, but not exactly, uh, it doesn't make the noise go away, but maybe there's no way to do that by piggybacking, so. I'm just going to turn that up so you can really, really hear it. So what I notice about the, the signature of that noise is that rather than sounding more like white noise, you can actually hear a frequency in there. It's a, a low kind of a... I don't know, maybe around 100 to 200 hertz. But there is there is a a frequency in there rather than just noise, which is interesting. What I'll try next is I'm going to swap this piggybacked one and I'll put it over on the next one. We'll see if that changes the noise signature at all. And I'll do the same thing and put it on this one and then that one. And uh, what I'm curious about is just to see if it goes from being just regular noise like it was before on three of the chips and then this kind of more of a, uh, a grumbling noise on, on this one that I suspect is bad. So let's see. So I've got it piggybacked on the very first memory chip here. Again, we'll power it up. So it starts. And now I'm going to turn up the volume on channel 2 and see what we hear. Look at that! So again, we're back to something that could be characterized more like as white noise rather th than what we heard before. So we'll do that again with these two chips. And once that's all done, I'll, I'll go to the... Uh, I'll go about removing this chip. Actually, you may do all four of them. But definitely starting with this one. Remove the chip, put the socket in, and then attach the new chip. Okay, so here I've got it on the, the third chip. I'll power it up. Again, it appears to start up okay. And now, for the noise signature. In this case, I can hear that grumbling noise again. So, I don't know what that tells us. but it's there. So we'll try the final chip. Okay, so it's on the last chip. Power starts and still can hear a little bit of the grumbling noise in there. But again, the signature is closer to white noise again. So, I wonder if what we're seeing here then is that um, on the, the data bus, this is the first chip in line, second, third, fourth. So, this one will be not very affected at all by something further down the bus because he's closer to uh, that latch there and to the, to the ESP. But as you go further away, and once you get to this one where the problem appears to be, 
Then you hear the grumble. This one we're, we'll assume it's not faulted, but it's still further down the bus after the, the faulted one. You hear the grumble and then you get a little bit further away, so maybe that's what I'm seeing. I don't know, but uh, again, from what I see, this one looks like the one to start by removing and I'm hoping that in doing that things will work properly as, as they should and there'll be no more noise. So I guess it's time to, time to take it apart and remove the component.